You're watching Don Hudson, Kim Fisher, and Dan Pope. Good for Utah. These past three nights, we've shown you why many experts say hyperthermia therapy is a proven cancer-fighting treatment. Now, we've traveled to New Orleans, Philadelphia, Germany, and China, where oncologists say the technology built by Utah-based company Pyrexar Medical actually works. Today, in the final Turning the Heat on Cancer special report, Good for Utah's Nadia Crow asks one tough question. Why isn't hyperthermia therapy being used here in Utah? My first time when I was heard this word hypothermia was in 1982. Senior consultant and professor Dr. Naloy Dada has been researching and administrating hyperthermia therapy ever since. We met him in New Orleans for an international conference on hyperthermia. He told us about one patient over the age of 75 unable to withstand chemotherapy for his sarcoma. Only protons on hypothermia. There's no chemotherapy and if possible no surgery. Other oncologists wanted to amputate his knee. Dr. Dada said no. After hypothermia therapy... And the patient is walking in front of you, no crutch, he is going for ski. What else do you want? <laughs> you don't want anything else, I believe. We traveled back to the Wasatch Front. Our first stop, Intermountain Medical Center, where there's a long history of hyperthermia research. But is it being used here now? 30 years ago, we had a federal grant to investigate hyperthermia between ourselves and the University of Utah before it became the Huntsman Cancer Institute. And so we've spent a lot of time and a lot of energy investigating hyperthermia. But those clinical trials proved hyperthermia did not have a positive effect when fighting cancer cells. So when you try to heat a tumor, our own body reacts and dissipates the heat. So it's a, it's a real technical challenge. So the U and other medical institutions dropped their hyperthermia research programs. And I think now with the increasing interest in immunotherapy, the targeted treatments that we have. I think most people would say that that's probably a more exciting and interesting avenue of research to explore. Right now, I think the evidence that it works and is going to be effective in a lot of tumors is lacking. But Texas oncology partner Barry Wilcox disagrees. No data, there's plenty of data. If you look at look for the data, it's there. I think another uh, concern is the equipment's not uh, any good. That may have been the case in the 80s. That's not the case now. Take a look at the hyperthermia machines built by Utah-based company Pyrexar Medical. Dr. Wilcox says the machines come with a hefty price tag. You have to have it in a place that has enough volume. It can't just be put at a small cancer center. It generally has to be a pretty high volume. And University of Maryland radiation oncologist Dr. Zelko Vojaskovic says money could also be playing another role. And the reimbursement for this treatment has not been uh, 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 satisfactory. So many of hospitals or centers are reluctant to invest in, in equipment, worrying about the ability to, to have reimbursement for this type of treatment. Dr. Donna agrees. If reimbursement is the issue, then those physicians aren't doing what's best for their patients. Let's come out of this always um, orientation where we have the insurance company to dictate on us what we should do. Dr. Vojaskovic adds, it doesn't matter which of Pyrexar's machines you use, it comes with a learning curve. It's a time-consuming, labor-intensive uh, uh, treatment, requires some training and skills. Both Huntsman and IHC say they may consider hyperthermia therapy in the future. We're open to any promising treatments, and so absolutely. I think if we saw, you know, an increasing body of evidence that said that this was something that was beneficial, then we would absolutely bring it to our patients. Oh, I mean, if hyperthermia works, we'll probably adapt it or adopt it. Dr. Dada says any hyperthermia therapy naysayers should take a look. I uh, just showed the pictures pictures and videos of patients he says he's cured with hyperthermia therapy. In New Orleans, Nadia Crow, good for Utah. And if you'd like to watch any of our four reports on hyperthermia therapy, just head to goodforutah.com and search for this story. Time now.